Underworld movie review. So this is a movie that came out in 2003, according to Wikipedia, and I do not remember this movie at all. Like, I, I do not remember hearing anything about it in 2003. I don't remember seeing any previews for it or hearing about it in the theaters or reading reviews about it online or, or any of that stuff. Now, now, granted, I was living in Japan in 2003, so quite possibly I was a little bit out of the loop and missed some stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I think this is one of those movies that more or less flew under most people's radar. I, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but then I was in the video store, uh, and not only was there this movie, but there was a whole series of Underworld movies. It had become a franchise. Uh, and the video stores were advertising them as cult classics. And, um, you know, I've always been a huge geek. And I, I know this is kind of, geek culture is difficult to explain to somebody who isn't a geek. But, but if you are a geek, perhaps you'll appreciate this. The, the pleasure of just immersing yourself in this intricate fantasy world uh, with this, uh, you know, all, all the details of this world created for you. And uh, the longer and more complicated it is, the better, right? So if it's, it's a franchise with multiple movies that allows you to develop this world even more, then that's even more appealing. So I decided to give it a try and I rented this movie. Uh, and yeah, I didn't like it. Uh, I wanted to get immersed into a fantasy world, but really what I got was a boring waste of two hours with just a bunch of flat, boring characters. Now, the movie is about a war between the vampires and werewolves. And uh, if you listen to the director's commentary on the DVD, which I, I did when I was watching it for the second time, the director and the writer are so pleased with themselves for coming up with the idea of having both werewolves and vampires in the same movie. I, I'm, I'm paraphrasing slightly, but the tone is very much... You know, some people have vampire movies, and some people have werewolf movies, but nobody ever thought about putting vampires and werewolves together in the same movie, and that's why we are so brilliant. That, that's the brilliance behind this movie. Uh, that they're, they're so pleased with it, that idea. And to be fair, this was before the Twilight movies came out, so uh, I, you know, I guess that maybe at that point, maybe a lot of people weren't doing werewolf and vampire movies combined. But as I was listening to that commentary, I thought to myself about the old proverb, less is more. I mean, there have been some brilliant vampire movies or novels or series, TV shows, that really immerse you into this whole world of vampire mythology. Uh, you know, so, some of them do it by appeal, appealing to kind of this mystical, gothic, ancient force. Some, some of them do it by having this whole secret vampire society with all these politics and factions in it. Uh, and you do not get that in the Underworld movie. You get hints of that, but they can't develop it because they have to split their time between the vampires and the werewolves. So you get a lot of scenes of the two groups fighting, but you don't get any, any time to develop any of these societies. Problems are evident right from the opening scene, uh, and we, which we get treated to an explosive, loud, drawn-out gunfight between the werewolves and the vampires. And this is before the audience knows who any of these characters are, or has any reason to care about who wins this fight. Um, you know, if, you, if you're going to put that fight in the middle of the movie, once we already know who these people are, maybe that can work better. But at, at the beginning of the movie, I was like, what? who are these people fighting and why should I care? And it just goes on forever. Now, if, if all you want out of a movie is like action sequences, then, okay, fair enough. There are some decent action sequences in this movie. But if you're looking for this fantasy world that you can get immersed in, I, I just didn't find it here. Uh, there are some interesting visual distinctions uh, between the two groups. The vampires are kind of treated as gothic royalty, 
werewolves, uh, uh, they're treated like a dog pack or stray dogs. Um, and it, this is quite nicely done by the visuals without a lot of time in the exposition. Uh, but that's about as far as the development goes. Uh, the special effects in this film are pretty decent. Uh, and there's some good old-fashioned stunt work. They don't over-rely on CGI, which is nice. Uh, but it would have just it would have been better if they put more energy into the storyline uh, and less energy into the action sequences.